The 4 Triple 2 YouTube, you know how much I love it. I know how much you love it. I think if you actually think about it in terms of like well-rounded and balanced, I think it's probably the best formation on FIFA 23 in terms of being well-rounded and everything. You've got the two strikers, you've got the two CDMs, it can defend well, it can really do its part going forward as well. I think overall, probably the best formation on FIFA 23. I do think probably the 4-3-2 on and the 5-4-1 and the 3-4-2-1 are better in terms of them being more overpowered. But I think on the whole, the 4 triple 2 is probably the best formation on FIFA 23. So without any further ado... Let's get straight into custom tactics. But first, YouTube, by the way, check out Luke1977.com. They do happily sponsor my channel, Wolf20, on their website for 20% off absolutely everything. I'm wearing their t-shirt right now from Luke. So make sure you check them out. Luke1977.com. Link is down in the description below. Oh, and I nearly forgot. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Coins, please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. So, the ads are done, YouTube. Let's get straight into the custom tactics. Now, like I was saying, I think there are a lot of, like, very overpowered meta formations this year. 4 triple 2 is one of them, by the way. But I think, on the whole, in terms of how well-rounded and balanced the 4 triple 2 is, like I say, I think the 4 triple 2 and the 4 2 3 one are, like, the most well-rounded formations in FIFA 23. They've got everything. They're good going forward, and they're very good defensively as well. Very... Key to that is the fact that we do have the two CDMs rather than the central midfielders. In a lot of formations on FIFA 23, it is central midfielders. For example, 4-3-2-1, 5-4-1, 4-4-2, etc. They are central midfielders. In the 4 2 and the 4 2 they are two CDMs. So, the custom tactics that I use, yeah, you guessed it, balanced on the defensive style. Like I do say in every video, press after possession loss and pressure on every touch. They are good and they can work. I would more lean towards pressure on heavy touch because press after possession loss will just drain your stamina like a motherfucker. So your players will be absolutely gassed by the time it comes to like the 75th, 70th minute. So I would only really use press after possession loss in the second half or like the last half an hour of the game. But pressure on heavy touch will drain your stamina as well, but not as much as the press after as press after possession loss. But the pressure is a little more random. So for example. They will only press when your opponent makes a bad touch. Sometimes your you your opponent will make a touch that you don't deem to be a bad touch and your team will then press. But because you're not expecting the press, you're a little bit like, ooh, what do I do? So that's why I stay away from it. I just like to be in control of where and when my team presses, really. So that's why I use that. The defensive width, YouTube, is 45. Basically... I would normally defend a lot more narrow with other formations. For example, the 4-3-2-1, the 5-4-1, etc. Especially the 3-4-2-1 that I did drop the other day. But with the 4 triple 2 the, the two CDMs really do offer that defensive solidity anyway. So, I kind of really think, like, well, what, you know, like, I don't really need to go too narrow with it. I, I like where my defenders are anyway in the 4 triple 2 but I do make it a little, a little more narrow than the preset 50. Basically, what I think of, think of that is... I just want my left back and right back to be a little bit more tucked in. Easier to play a switch to them when my opponent's on the attack. That's what I think. Now, the depth, YouTube. I actually do play 60 depth with the 4 triple 2. Now, the reason being, like I was saying literally a couple of seconds ago, we have two CDMs. We have two CDMs in the 4 triple 2 rather than central midfielders. So, because of that, we can afford to push our defensive lineup ever so slightly. It makes it easier for me to suffocate and, and press my opposition. You know, that... I like to be in control, basically, of the ball. I like to win the ball back very quickly when I'm playing FIFA. And on the flip side to that, the 60 depth isn't actually too YOLO gung-ho. You know, a lot of the time this year, I was using 70 depth, not anymore. 60 depth for me is just really, really, really hitting that sweet spot. So, balanced to 45 and 60 depth. I, I like that. It it's my real, real, real sweet spot, really. So, that's what I'm using. You guessed it, YouTube. Balanced and direct passing. Is there anything else you use? Other than that, let me know in the comment section. By the way, um, fast build-up, diet passing, that's good. Definitely is a viable option. So maybe if you're struggling to create opportunities, maybe use that. But me, I prefer the balance of diet passing. The width, YouTube, I leave it on 50 with a 4 triple 2. I like where my lamp and my ram are without changing it. Players in the box, I do up it to 7. No real method to that madness. I just always think the more players I have in the box, more likely I am to score a goal. That is literally the only thing that goes in my head with that. Two corners and two free kicks. So, 
Custom tactics done. That's how I set my team up on the pay to win account with the 4 triple 2. Let's get into the player instructions. Now, these haven't really changed too much from previous custom tactics on the 4 triple 2 because I don't think there's actually a lot you can really do with them, really. Like, like realistically, I don't think there's too much you can change because, like, the preset ones that I always use always work. So, stay central, get in behind, and come back on defence on both the strikers. Now, you may think the comeback on defence is a defensive move, and it is, but at the same time, it's actually an offensive move. Because remember, striker's here, CDM's here. Striker on comeback on defence closes the gap, makes it easier to counter-attack, easier to play the ball in the passing lanes, just easier in general. That's what we want, YouTube. By the way, rate the trim. Rate it. What are we saying? Trim out of 10. Rate it. Oh, you can't really see it because my room's really dark, but yeah, rate the trim. But that's why we use the 4 triple 2 with the comeback on the fence on the strikers. We want to close that gap. If you don't, sometimes the gap's just way too high. It's just, I don't like that. So that's the whole point of that. Now, the lamb and the ram, these have changed quite a lot over the years. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come back on the fence. I was actually experimenting when I was using this formation yesterday. I was actually experimenting having them both on basic defense support, but I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't, I just didn't like it. I, I don't know why. I just didn't like it. So come back on the fence is the first thing you're going to want to put on. I then have now gone back to both my lamb and my ram on getting to the box across. Remember, I had one of them on stay on the edge the other day, uh, like the, on the other video. Not anymore. I just. The way I look at that, YouTube, is the more players in the box, more likely you are to score a goal. That really is just how simply I look at it. You know, more players in the box, more likely you are to score a goal. More likely it is the ball is going to fall back at your feet for a rebound, etc. So, yeah, come back on the fence and get into the box for cross. Both the CDMs, this is where, YouTube, you need to use your own initiative. So, the first thing you're going to want to put on is cover centre on both of them. I, me... I then use both of them on balanced attacks. So my Goretzka and my Hullet, and on my RTG, my... I can't even remember who's in my field on RTG now. I've changed the team up. But I like both of these players to get forward just that ever so slightly. So not too YOLO. You know, they're not absolutely ra roam, like raging roaming lunatics forward. But they will get forward and help. If you struggle defensively, though... Put your more defensive-minded player on staying back while attacking. So, for example, me, that would obviously be my Goretzka. He would then be the one to go on stay back while attacking, just to help with that defensive solidity. But I like both of them on balance. Last but not least, YouTube, your bread and butter. Both fullbacks stay back while attacking. And the goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there is my updated 4 triple 2 custom tactics video for you guys. Drop a like on the video for me. Let's smash 200 likes. Drop a comment down below. And please hit that subscribe button to my channel. Most of you watching this video aren't subscribed. Let's change that. Remember, Luke1977.com. Wolf20. 20% 20 off absolutely everything. Check them out. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the lemon positivity. PMA positive and latitude. Peace out. One love.